do you wonder why whenever you have a conversation with your colleagues or co-workers about something then after a while you will see another about it or one of your co-workers will see another about it if you don't believe me try it yourself most of the phones they will have this option where they are constantly checking monitoring listening to you through the microphone of the phone and most phones either iphone or android will have a features which are monitoring the what you whatever you're talking about through the microphone or monitoring the activity on your phone if you go to a website or search for something on google or other search engines the phone itself will have this data that might be shared with the advertising companies and you will see a relevant ad about this subject this might be useful in case for example if you're looking for car insurance for example when my car insurance was about to expire i saw an ad for a offer for car insurance and i got a better deal because of that i actually checked the offer and i went to the company and they had to give me a lower price because I was coming through this offer. So the personalized ads are not always bad, but it's really the problem with the personalization for ads and the usage statistics from your phone is the battery. This will consume the battery more than it needs to and already you have so many things consuming the battery. I will show you how to disable the personalization and uh, add personalization and the device data that could be sent the device data the own device data that could be used to personalize your experience with google products and maybe even other apps i'm not sure about this i'm not really 100 percent sure about how this works so i might be wrong about uh, the personalization and the tracking i don't know if google is always listening to you through this microphone and knowing everything you say and whatever people are saying around you or if it's just uh, a myth i don't know this i cannot say for sure so uh, the most important reason to do this is the battery you get a better battery performance let's disable the uh, tracking from your device and the listening from the microphone on your android phone this is android 14 but it will work on other other phones this is Sony Xperia 1 Mark V and it's, it has very limited uh, amount of bloatware on it but still this option is there. So let's have a look. To disable the Google tracking and the personalization constant on device personalization you go to settings, scroll down to Google and here you will see all this information on this screen you go forward to all services and this is the really important part and you should be you should know really and once in a while check what's here because they might add new things that you might have to disable something new personalize using shared data this is data from your phone that could improve your experience in google products so it's up to you if you disable this some features in these apps they might depend on this data to give you a better experience and personalize the, the the what you have for example in maps it might know your usual routes or uh, if you're searching for something it might recommend you something it could be an ad or it could be just recommendations i'm not sure but personalize using shared data you can disable all of them So they are all disabled now, but we are not finished. Go back one, one arrow back and using usage, usage and diagnostics. This one, you could help to improve the Google products if you wanted to, but this will also use more processing power on your phone when it's sending any information it needs, so no need. You can always disable it again. You can always, you can always enable it if you wanted to. I mean, if this is what you want, you can enable it. And the last thing to look at here is the ads. So here you have the ad section, and the ads are a bit, a bit tricky here because personalized ads will be better than non-personalized ads. It will show you relevant information. 
you will see relevant information like the case where I had the car insurance ad and I got a better deal because I had that ad. If I didn't have personalized ads, probably I wouldn't see this ad. And you here can do reset advertising ID or delete advertising ID. Here you can choose to reset advertising ID or delete advertising ID. You can do a reset first. The apps will still show you ads, but they will not be personalized anymore to your account. So if you if you went to some strange website and you're uh, you're starting to see strange ads or you watch some videos you're not interested in and you start to watch some strange ads, ads you're really not interested in, you can use this to reset it and start from the beginning. But I prefer to just delete. I mean, if you wanted to, if you want to get rid of the advertising ID completely, I prefer to just use the delete option. I mean, reset will confirm and then that's it. Nothing will happen, but I can delete it. That's, that's the option. And now it's deleted and you see the option to get the new advertising ID. You can do this, you can undo this by getting a new advertising ID and you can use the reset option if you wanted to like this and it says it's reset but deleting it is permanently you will have generic ads which probably will not be relevant to you you might not find something useful out of them but that's uh, that's the option now the battery on your phone will work less your processor the processor on your phone will work less because it has less thing to do, I need to process all that information to send it for um, ads, basically, to personalize uh, the device experience. The option to personalize using shared data might be useful. So if you if you notice that Google Maps is, it doesn't remember where your location, recent locations or something like that, you can always re-enable them. And you can choose which options um, are uh, enabled. This will improve the Android experience and you get better recommendations and suggestions. You can you can always re-enable them if you wanted to. I will keep them like this for now and see how it goes. Thanks for watching. Now the, now the hope phone is hopefully a bit faster. It's already fast enough, Android 14. Pretty, pretty good, but a bit more battery life, it's always good to have. Thanks for watching.